The Collector's Loves, by Nell Brinkley. The Collector, sober, with grey frosting his temples, and nearsighted, peering eyes, leered at love when he came to his door one stormy winter night and asked for a bite to put in his tummy in a place by the fire to sleep. He prodded the waif in the said tummy and caressed his hair at the back of his neck and laughed aloud, ha ha. Very well, says he, I'm humane, it goes with loving things old and things beautiful, but I know your tics and your manners, young man, and so subdue your wild cunning. Put your wizardry in your pocket, don't get in the habit of praising any maid's looks and graces to me, as the rumor goes on the wind that you do. So walk in, young man, and stretch your legs before my blaze, curl up among my ancient and delectable crockery and antiques and make yourself at home. So, love did. Now, three halfway old maids there lived in the countryside round, old maids just in the making. Prudence had a Nelson jug of fat pattern, of prattware, ancient and brown and adorable. And the collector loved Prudence, and her jug with a love that woke him in the small faint hours with the dream that the jug sat on his cupboard shelf where all might see. Patience had a teapot, also fat and prattware, with a staid old spout and stiff little words bidding one, love and live happy, on its building flank. And she hugged her teapot close, holding onto the handle with the collector rolled it about lovingly in his fondling fingers. And Patience, also he loved, fervently and hotly, she and her teapot. Anastasia had a vase of jasper, in arabesque, wedgewood, slender and graceful and utterly desirable. And Anastasia he loved, wildly, so that his days were a dizziness. She in her jasper vase. But love didn't keep his word. He put away his cunning, put undercover his chanting of any maid's charms, but he kept out his wizardry. And so, it came to be that a little maid with no crockery, but only her golden face and her wild hair, foolish little frocks and fussery, and her scarlet mouth and her coaxing manner. Her high red heels and her trilling voice, her adorable adorableness, came into the countryside of the collector's loves and made his days a dizziness, and woke him in the small faint hours with a dream that she sat smiling in his settle chair, all without jugs, and vases and teapots. So the collector's loves were four, and he slept no more after that.